welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful afternoon. And as you can see, it is still Thursday, August 22nd. I'm still in Las Vegas and I'm just going through some of these questions because I've already journaled a few of them. So I'm on question number five. And this question is, what loss has been most significant? And this is my journal entry. Since this is about chronic illness, I have to say it was not being able to continue working and also having to drop out of college about three times. I enjoyed my classes and the jobs I had over the years. It just seemed as if some, something would happen that forced my body to go into panic attack mode and get so anxious I couldn't even leave the house. And when I could, I wasn't able to get out of the car. I wanted so bad to prove that I was intelligent enough to get my degree and hold down a job. I wanted to be able to retire like a normal person. I'm the oldest child in my family, and I should have been able to do it all and be an example of that normal life to my siblings. Yet here I sit tonight, feeling the pain, inflammation, and stress in my body. And that was my, my journal entry for that one. Um, when I first read this question, of course, the most significant loss that came to mind first was the loss of my mom a little over two years ago. And that just made all of this stuff harder and worse than maybe it would have been. Um, and maybe I'd still be dealing with the exact same thing today that if, even if she was still here. Um, but you know, that was the most significant loss to me was the loss of my mom but because these are questions dealing with chronic illness I had to focus on that um, one thing I did here today I watched a video this morning or I actually listened to it on the way into town by Nikki Drake um, her channels crazy uh, I'm not even sure uh, but I will post a photo of it here um, but she was talking about her issues recently with pain, fibromyalgia, and arthritis. And I was listening to my story. And something she said really got me thinking that she shared that a lot of people um, that are on YouTube either um, sharing things like this or things like she does, Bible studies and different things, um, and just in general, maybe, maybe not everyone, but there's a few people who, who deal and struggle with chronic illness on a daily basis, who can't get out of the house all the time, who can't work a full-time job, who have to, you know, find some way to feel like they're contributing to society or that they're dealing with, you know, processing through their issues, hopefully being encouragement and help to someone else. And when she talked about that you know that that there's a many of us people who deal with chronic illness on youtube sharing our lives and our stories and whatever else is you know that we share depending on um what we like to do and all of that it got me thinking like you know when i say i want to be normal god why can't i just be normal and have all these things um like i used to even though it was a struggle then as well but I was able to do it. Um, I just wonder, well, is this, you know, the, the, the struggle with the chronic illness has brought me here to a closer relationship with the Lord and to share my faith and my story with everyone here on YouTube, whoever watches. And I just, I want to take that and really believe that this is the ministry that he's called me to in this time in this season of my life because I have taught ladies Bible classes in the past I've helped with vacation Bible school I've taught children's classes in church um, even as a teenager I was like 18 I believe or 19 I did a few teenage um, uh, classes in church as well to help some of the teachers that were there then and so I've always been involved, for the most part, in some type of ministry. And that's where my heart always was. But 
you know, I didn't have a lot of the, the same time that I do now um, to do those things and journal and do all the things that I love to do. And instead of looking at this life as being abnormal or such a burden, and because that's what I feel like at times, that it, I'm a burden because I can't do all the things that I want to do and I need help for things. And I'm trying to look at this as an opportunity to share my story, to share the gospel, to encourage others, um, and live out the purpose that the Lord has given me in this season of life. Um, if you guys struggle with chronic illness, uh, whatever type it is, or just struggle in general with, with feeling like you're doing the things that you should be doing, or you know, whatever it is, um, share some of your answers to these questions in the comments below or your story um i'd love to hear from you guys i hope that you have a wonderful afternoon or evening or morning or whenever you're watching this uh thank you for joining me god bless you